Coach Isaac back here again. All right, today we're gonna go over the unilateral circuit. All right, what unilateral means in basic terms is basically just movement off of one leg. All right, when you do a squat, when you do a deadlift with both legs down, all right, it's called bilateral. It's bi meaning two, two legs down, uni obviously meaning once. So in sport, when we're running and stuff like that, most, most of the time, not both feet are in contact at the same time. We usually split like this, maybe we're in the air, we're jumping off of one leg, all right? So we need to be efficient moving off of one leg, like I talked about in that earlier video. All right, movement patterns, body coordination, how well can we stabilize on one foot and do different things on one foot. So I have five things here, all right? It's gonna be two sets of each, all right? The first three exercises, you have six reps each leg, and then the last exercises are eight reps each leg. So with each of these, the important thing to know is if you have dumbbells at home, or if you know somebody that has dumbbells, dumb, a weight, maybe a plate near you, you can do all these things with plates. You can do them just as well without plates, all right? Or without dumbbells. First thing is called a reaching SLDL. All right, SLDL stands for single leg deadlift. All right, so basically what I'm gonna do here, all right, there's a couple different variations here. So basically what the SLDL is, if you've been in the training center before or a program that you've had, all right, it may just look like you having a dumbbell in one hand, like coming out just like that, touching your ground, up like this. So slight bend of that knee, coming down until you feel stretch your hamstrings, right back up. All right, so what a reaching SLDL is a little bit different. All right, so bending that knee, reaching out like this, touching something like that and come back in. All right, you can see how it was a little bit unstable. So the goal is to stay completely stable, move very slow, hold the position for a second or two and come back up. All right, so here, reach out to here and coming back in, all right? And if you have a plate, a small plate, five, five to seven pound plate, reaching out like that, coming back in, all right? Just like that. All right, maybe a book, anything, we really wanna press out from here, to here, hold it, come back in. The goal is to keep that back leg up, our back neutral, our, che or our chest down, and everything very tight. All right, so that's six each leg. Next is single leg squat to a box. So I'm gonna cover to a small box here. Just like I was talking about with the plyometrics, all right, if you don't have, obviously, a box, you can use stairs, you can use anything that's elevated, right, about 12 to 20 inches off the ground. All I'm gonna do here, place my heel, the heel that I'm squatting with, that all the way on the box, all right? Pick one leg up, all right? If you have dumbbell, you can hold it like this. You can plate, you can hold it like this. If you have nothing, just keep your hands by your side. All I'm doing is pretend I'm back squatting to a box. Hinge that back, that your butt back, sitting all the way down to the box, not letting this foot come in contact at all, staying forward, squatting up. All right. So often do I see a lot of athletes when they do this, they come down here and they lose it. They sit down like that and then they get back up. They curl their back like that and stand up. That's exactly what we do not want to do. All right, we want to control our body through this range of motion. Tap that box, hold for a second, explode back up off that single leg box. So here, squatting down, slow, touch, explode back up off the single leg. If you can't get up off that single leg, all right, I can squat down here, both feet together, stand up. With, if you have to do that, make sure you're really focusing on a slow descent here. With my back flat, chest up, touch, stand up. All right, so make sure we're just focusing on staying with everything tight, all right, not letting that heel come up and not slamming ourselves on that box. Control yourself all the way down. If you're finding yourself maybe on a stairs that are too big or that's too small and you just can't control it, move up a little bit. Maybe to something of something like this size if you're a little bit of a taller athlete. Control it, sitting down, standing up. All right, maybe to a bench, anything like that. All right, just adjust the size so you're not slamming off of it. All right, and with the single leg squat to the box, if you have a dumbbell, a light dumbbell, you can press it out as you go down. All right, just like this. Press out, hold back up. All right, same thing with the plate. Next thing we have is single leg squat off of a box. So for this, you're gonna go a little bit higher. All right, again, if you don't have a box, try to create something that's similar like this. I step up, all right? All I wanna do is bring that right leg or at your left leg as close as you can off the box and then kick off just like this. 
With proper form, all right, I'd rather you do this with no weights at all. With proper form, I want to come down, dragging that heel all the way down, touch the floor where it is. I'm almost in a full squat position, and then stand back up. All right, a lot of you may not be able to get all the way to the ground. If you cannot, drag that heel alongside the box here, find that sticking point, and stand up. All right, we got to focus on torso stability. That comes with contracting your abs, staying very tight, coming all the way back, keeping that foot in contact, and then standing up. Don't curl that back. All right, it's natural for your body to want to come over. All right, just try not to fall off that box. This is mainly about stability and single leg uh, strengthening that quadricep, all right, through tire range of motion. Next thing, rear foot elevated split squats. If you have dumbbells, one in each hand. If you have nothing, you obviously use nothing. If you have a book, something heavy, you can hold here. All I'm doing, staying about three feet away from the box, kick the flat part of my foot, all right, the very top here on the box here. All I'm doing, making sure my foot is at a good distance where I look down, I can see my knee and my toe. If I'm under like this, I look down, I can only see my toes. Kick out, make sure I can see my quad, knee, toe. I squat down. What's important with this is the knee comes over the toe here, my torso stays up, my back knee touches the ground, I stand up. Just like this, touch up. Do not let your knee slam like that, all right? Touch up. If that's too hard for you and you're feeling way too unstable, do something a split squat or walking lunge, right? Just like this. I come down, touch my knee, stand up, or maybe lunge is in place. Just like that. For each one of those derivatives, we want to make sure our torso is up, that knee is not slamming on the ground, and we're staying tight throughout the whole range of motion, taking a big step out, right? Last but not least is a step up with a knee drive, two by eight on each side. We're gonna to come to that same box, same thing that we used here, dumbbell in each hand. If you don't have any dumbbells, you don't have to do anything here. All I'm doing here is stepping, whole foot on the box, stomp down the box, drive that back knee up, and then step back down. So lead leg hovers above the box, I stomp, I use all that weight to drive that back knee up just like this. And I step down with the trail leg. So again, drive, it's fast. This is mimicking, almost pushing off the ground, creating that good knee action like we talked about with the, the speed drills, and getting as fast as we can by that knee action. Drive that knee all the way up to the chest. So other side, drive up, all right? So those are my five drills, or exercises if you will, for the unilateral circuit. I wanna make sure for each one of these drills, we're staying tight, we're staying balanced, and we're doing it with quality rather than quantity.